Hi, my name is Winslet, and welcome to the next episode of Stellaris Necroids. We're playing as the Seekers, who are a corporate death cult with Gospel of the Masses. Uh, just like with the last episode, we're going to start by looking at the state of the galaxy. I've expanded my nation quite a bit. We've got a lot of land to the north and to the west of where we started. All of this stuff, I really shouldn't have grabbed because in a multiplayer somebody would take that off of me but because of this being a single player I was able to get some friendly dudes over here to guarantee me the Pokemon which are no longer my friends um, I think they're gonna hate the fact that we just made friends with the growth the growth is the strongest nation in the galaxy if we pull up the score we can see that the growth have the most score. I have amazing technology compared to the other nations in the game except for us we got a little bit worse we got about a thousand less technology than them and we, we're the second most technologically advanced people we just haven't um, used our alloys to build the ships and we may do that if we're gonna go to war with the Deathbringers over here take all their territory they're superior to us, they have like no technology, decent economy. We're gonna need boats. So I think the goal for the, the near future is to build up our, our fleet so we can go to war down there. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything I had to say. We'll jump ahead to the future now, and in case you're, you're not aware, I've been cutting out the boring parts in between the important decisions. Um, so we can just kind of jump to the most interesting points of the game. I'll see you in a bit. So 12 years have passed in game here since I last checked in and I thought it would be worth telling you about the con. The con actually spawned in not too long after uh, we, we wrapped up that last little segment and I just kinda spent the first few years building up my fleet. If you compare the numbers I had here to what I had not too long ago I have a much better fleet and um, unfortunately it's not strong enough to actually kick over this system right here if, if we did have enough to do that then I think we could potentially go go fight the Khan kill, kill him um, two times to get the, the relic but I just don't see that being possible at this point in time sure we can we can kill him once but um, killing him twice is it seems unlikely especially if we push forward recklessly if he comes to us in this system right here we may be able to get him twice I mean we do have a path right next to the starting system the problem is is that the growth is actually really strong my, my friend over here and they could easily just take that bonus so it's not really worth investing a bunch of, of fleet power into we have actually unlocked mega mega structures and started building a science nexus in our capital over here. That should allow us to have some pretty insane science pretty soon. We've also started getting some more habitats because our influence is actually really good right now. We're getting about 12 a turn. No, uh, the gain is about 10 a turn. The produced is, is almost 12, but the consumed is almost 2 and um, that's mostly because we've unlocked unity stuff we've gotten a lot of really nice late game text pretty early on I mean there's only 120 years into the game and we've got the unity ambitions we've got the mega structures and I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this this playthrough has gone we've got quite a bit of population for 120 years into the game I don't think I've had many games where I have more than a thousand or two thousand pops so it'll be interesting to see how many guys I can get by the end of of this match by the time I'm done playing with the game. Um, what else is there to say? Technology is looking good, the alloys is looking good, the economy is pretty strong overall. We're having to buy a little bit off of the market, but in general our planets that we've settled over here are able to support it um, pretty pretty well by themselves. Like I'm only buying 11 consumer goods off of here and I could probably afford to get a little bit less. And Let's see what else. Right, um, we have master builders so that's going to allow us to get more mega structures soon. I think we'll come in here and grab the Colossus one so that we can actually go on total wars against all these these nations across the galaxy. I just I'm not sure who to go against first. These dudes over here. 
I won't take us into federation. And they won't form a federation. It looks like their yes, right, their federation fell apart not too long ago. Um, this guy and this guy used to be friends, but they're no longer. So I think these dudes would take a federation with me, right? Not too long ago they were thinking about it, but now it's like, nope, we don't want that. And I bet if I bribed them, I could get them to like us. Right, the con, um, we, we kind of had to respond to them down here and, and not let them just wreak havoc because of this wormhole. It feeds into our, our back line. So um, that's when I started to respond to them, really, was once they, they came through this wormhole and started knocking down systems. And I was like, well, they might come after these, this chunk of planets. That's a lot of planets. And I have the economy to keep them off. So let's build up some fleets um, and... Yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say at this point in the game. The capital's got quite a bit of pops, and the others are, are doing okay themselves. Some of them are pretty full up, like uh, the ones that I took off the, the other nations down here. In case you, you forgot, at the end of the last episode I conquered, I think, two nations, and we were thinking about taking on this one, but... We just didn't get around to it fast enough. I was trying to let these guys finish off their war to get in their federation. Didn't want to be in a war after that. And then constantly have to deal with um, the fact that one of us is in a war and we can't federate because of that. So yeah, we'll jump ahead now. See you in a bit. You know what? Before we move on, I did want to point out that our spiritualist faction is two-thirds of our empire. And it looks like it's only getting bigger, so... Yeah, this whole um, Gospel of the Masses plus Death Cults combination seems to be working pretty well. Woohoo, we did it. The Purifier is dead. We took out the little dudes over here. I think they're a blood court of some kind. And um, now we have 1,400 pops, uh, 38 planets some pretty sizable fleets. We had to take some engagements with their fleets, but fortunately they weren't concentrated like mine were, so when we took some shipyards, we rebuilt the losses and just kept pushing. And it was a pretty easy war. Um, now that we've taken out this nation, we want to get our Colossus up and running so that we can kind of snowball the, the pops that we already have, the advantages we have from having more pops by going on more wars and stealing even more pops. Our shipyard over here is pretty close to finishing the colossus it's going to need a little bit more than a year but as soon as that's done we can go to war with these fleets down here we can attack this dude they're independent so it should be a pretty straightforward war. i mean they're inferior 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 the real question is does it make sense to come back here and take out any independence in my um my like homeland this area over here there's a lot of things that are potentially targets the bill not concern is a, is a pretty easy target just corporate death cult is another one and i think yeah they're no longer a death cult so maybe we need to like show them how to do a death cult thing again but yeah i'm thinking right now it may, may, might make more sense to just use my fleets where they are continue through this nation maybe push into this nation and just see how far we can get with these dudes. There's there's some pretty good power blocks. If we pull up the um, the score, we'll see that the growth are no longer in first. It's now the Archivists and the Never Slayed Imperium, and that's this, this right here. If we click on them, we'll see that their allies are the purple nations down here, and they have the green. They're actually taking on another... Federation, there's two federations of three decently strong nations, but it does look like these two nations are some of the stronger ones, so keep that in mind. Maybe it makes sense to go to war here instead because their fleets are going to be over here. And we can just like rush through them. I haven't quite made up my mind on that. I've got to think about it. I'm more or less just like so happy that we got all this territory, all this pops. Our economy is going to suffer a little bit from this, um, and I'm not sure if we want to basically turn everybody into us. I have put people on Assimilate for now, um, or if I want to just kind of absorb them in the Empire as we go. 
and they feel pretty good about assimilation. I think that they generate a new uh, ethics based on your attractions when you assimilate. So, um, yeah, I I do think it's it's worth doing a little bit. It makes them happier because they become. Yeah, this modifier gets applied to them. They get extra happiness. They get extra energy from energy credit jobs and research. So, you know, your research goes a little bit quicker. I am concerned about the Empire Sprawl getting away from me because we're just barely over it already and we're seeing some, some nasty modifiers. Um, but I think getting more pomps in our Empire is better than, than less. Also, we're still making great technology. Like, we didn't have to sacrifice that to to build up our fleets. I mean, it could be better, but it's not terrible. We are in first place out of all the uh, non-fallen empires. So keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, I think we may be about ready to jump ahead. We've started this. We've got habitats over here, lots of research habitats, and more influence than we know what to do with. Right now, we haven't activated our will to power, we don't need it. We've activated a lot of things though. We've got so much unity gain, we can basically keep these going 24-7. We're gonna maybe need more resources for going to war, maybe switch out of research subsidies and, and give us something that'll give us more benefit. I mean, it's a pretty cheap uh, edict, so maybe one of these more expensive ones would give us more advantage. Maybe get the forge and just go crazy with the, with the boats. Uh, but yeah, the starbase capacity is going to get a little bit out of control if we just total war everybody. So I'm going to have to delete some of these crummier starbases like this one. That doesn't do me any good. Also, might want to build some gateways in here because that will allow my trade to actually get back to the capital. I, I think that we're going to want to build one in here as soon as possible. As well as here. Yeah, we've already completed this one. So that can help us travel around the galaxy. I don't think I have anything over here that will allow us to easily jump through the galaxy, but yeah, we'll make one. We'll make some stuff. These L gates will be nice once we get that stuff up and running, but it's it's not quite there yet. Anyways, let's jump ahead. See you in a bit. You know, I actually realized after the last recording that I hadn't mentioned that I, I vassalized the Khan. I mean, they haven't done a whole lot on this side of the galaxy. They're just kind of hanging out next to where they spawned. And um, they have some sizable fleets. They're okay. They could do some work, but they're, they're pretty weak in comparison to any other nation in the galaxy. They've only got 36 pops and 4 planets, so, you know, maybe... Maybe if I go to Total War against a nation that's weak enough, they can actually grab some space, but so far they've just been hanging back, doing their own thing. Um, but yeah, let's, let's check in on the southern half of the galaxy. We've expanded quite a bit. We've taken out a nation over here, and we've almost finished up this nation over here. They have just these two planets right here in this system once they're gone. And we can move on to the next nation, which I think will be this one, because their allies are far away. So we can take them out without worrying about these guys, and then we may attack um, those guys to path up through them and and um, just wipe out as much of these guys as quickly as possible. I'm a little concerned about the archivists because they do have um, paths into my territory here and here. This isn't as clear of a path, but they may come up here and actually cause some issues in this, this part of my empire. Fortunately, it doesn't connect up to the main part. The, the um, I guess the core of my empire is in the northern part of the, the galaxy, so if the archivists take out this western uh, expansion, that's fine. That's just a, it's just there because that's where it, um, the total nation was that we, total war nation was that we had to go clear out. I've been thinking about maybe expanding into this space, spending alloys and influence on it, but somebody else could just steal it off of me, so it doesn't seem like a giant, uh, a, a great investment. It's, it's also just more clicking when I could be spending my time clicking on planets, taking their pops. We're up to 2,400 pops. Um, quite a bit of our fleet power is pretty strong. We're up to 457 fleet, uh, just in those numbers. And then if we look over here, got over 100k 
about 145 years into the game, which isn't amazing, but if we compare to everybody else in the galaxy, it's it's more than enough. Our our economy is crashing a little bit. When we, we assimilate a bunch of dudes, they get mad. Come in here. We have 19 people that are being assimilated and 26 that are um, being purged because they're robots. And if we go into our market, we can't get rid of those dudes. We can't sell off the robots. But I think there is some limitations to it. I don't think you can have more than like a certain number of pops because it's not presenting all of them but yeah like basically we do this every once in a while we get some energy we sell that energy for what we need which is basically consumer goods food and minerals or alloys that are fine in fact we're selling quite a bit of alloys um the price of alloys is not great it's actually basically as much as energy which is means it's it's pretty low we're gonna want to stop building boundaries and actually coming through here and making consumer goods places minerals places and um what else was there right the emperor's probably got to make those buildings we got to come through our buildings and, and whenever there's unemployed and building slots we, we got to make that or you know just come in here and, and make it a bit of a priority once these guys have jobs that should jump up a little bit um, and we can make that process a little bit faster by people who finding people who are assimilating and being like, apply this template. Do that. It's only going to take two months, so you might as well uh, just you know have to keep checking on those those little dudes every once in a while. Right, my cat has decided to come say hello. Hello. It's nice of you to join me. Just uh, about ready to jump forward in time, I think. Um, what else have we been working on? We've got Galactic Wonders, which is excellent, very important for us since we're needing energy to trade for things. We're going to need a Dyson Sphere. So hopefully that's up reasonably quickly and in giving our economy that boost. I thought about trying to get a uh, matter decompressor going somewhere, but I don't I don't see anything in my, my main space that is that easy to defend. So save that for later if we need it. Maybe all the, the planets that we have will be able to support us in terms of minerals. I mean, we do have 66 planets. <laughs> pretty sizable fleet and um, some pretty decent armies for, for taking things out. I do like that we got jump drive. That means that we can just jump around very easily without our armies getting picked off and um, invade the planets very efficiently. Like basically one army can do with invading for anything in, in its jump range. It can just go over there, invade, be done in like a couple days, Let's go to, over to the other side of the Empire, invade, be done with that a couple days. Um, landing on a planet resets the jump timer on your on your armies, so it's pretty amazing. I don't know if there's anything else worth mentioning. Maybe take a look at this, see if we have any nice designs. Not really, to be honest. We're going to be trying to use this to turn people into spiritual spots. Um, but we need to be careful with it, you know, because if it gets blown up, I think the total war ends inconclusively. So I've, I've moved it over here to, to kind of like trail along with everybody else. And I think we're ready to jump ahead again, right? There's nothing else that's really super important. I mean, it, it would be nice to kind of look at these guys' capital, but can't even remember where that is anymore. It's, it's going to be under a lot of strain, I'm sure. All the pops are going to be like getting assimilated, <laughs> at least for the next two months. Anyways, yeah, let's that, jump ahead. Let's 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 wage this war and see how that goes. Ooh, I'm nervous. Wow, it has been a pretty rough few in-game years here. <laughs> suffered a, a lot of attrition fighting wars down here in the south. Um, at, at one point I thought maybe I'd made the the wrong decision fighting all of these nations at once. There it was two federations who were fighting the Kithri Assembly of Worlds, the Principality of Tiberius, an ally of theirs down here, as well as the Never Slayed Imperium, the Archivist, and then another one of their allies down here. And um, all in all, it's 
it's taken a lot of micromanagement to actually get through their stuff because now that we have more pops, we have more consumer goods and um, that we have to we have to you know get and and use to to keep them happy as well as our, our food um, upkeep has gone way way up our our mineral upkeep and our energy upkeep just by having all these pops that we have to support as as well as our empire sprawl has gone ridiculously big so um, our technology gain is almost slow to uh, a halt we barely have any technology gain but I really don't have time to think about that right now I'm just trying to outmaneuver their fleets I think we have more than enough fleet power inside of what we have here to keep attacking and pushing forward um, we can just use the economy gain to to get bigger fleets to to uh, allow us to keep up with people who are focusing entirely on technology if we compare to the growth they have quite a bit more technology than us but our economy is it's about twice as strong as theirs right now we have almost 5,000 pops 160 years into the game it's it's getting ridiculous we're getting more pots than we know what to do with um, assimilating them is it's too much work at this point <laughs> it's, it's a lot of clicking and I keep getting new pops from old templates so it's like 10 pops of a, a thing here 10 pops of a thing there I don't don't want to have to assimilate those ones like 23 of these guys here yeah I don't really want to click for just 23 25 here I don't want to click for 25 here but if I want to be efficient that's what what makes the most sense I'm getting to the point where it's like do I actually conquer this entire galaxy that's gonna be a lot of micromanagement. Maybe, maybe I'll just be happy with factions that are reasonably spiritualist. I mean, if we don't have fifty percent spiritualist, then that's not okay. That's not acceptable. We'll have to like sacrifice some non-spiritualist pops to uh, get that number to be uh, above at least fifty percent. I I think I said earlier in the in the game I want every pop, and then I was like maybe eighty percent. So I don't really want to keep dropping my my end game goal here. Um, but the game is getting really slow every year it has to calculate which palms are going to assimilate as well as i think end game type stuff it's got to calculate if it's time to trigger the end game so i i don't know we'll see hopefully if i i wrap this up a little bit early people understand why and if you want to keep seeing more just leave a comment below and i'll 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 consider doing more i can't promise i'll do more if i get one comment that's like hey i'd love to see how this galaxy would look in 50 years but if I get a handful like three or four I, I could see myself recording just another one of these to see how it's going let's check in on our Dyson Sphere yeah we don't have the alloys for it to upgrade it because we're spending it elsewhere having to sell our alloys to keep our economy afloat don't know if we're gonna be able to get that anytime too soon because right now it is generating some energy and it can generate more but the question is, will these pumps or will that structure get us more in the long run? Probably the structure. I probably get a little bit too trigger happy and expanded out in directions that I shouldn't have. Should have gone into smaller nations. Uh, but you know, things are all right. Oh right, the con. They gained a little bit of space up here. I think they're, yeah, still reasonably small. But who knows? If they're lucky, maybe they can grab some more space up here, maybe a planet or two. I'm thinking I might release them and kill them. I mean, if I was if I was trying to be all like spiritualist and, and convert everybody to the religion, there's nothing in here that says they're spiritualist, although I do think that that's going to change. If I gave them like a migration treaty, that might change around. Um, we have been triggering this as much as we can since we have the influence for it. And it's, it's pretty good. If you got some jobs, you you want a filled up this 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 generated pops will will do the job and are we able to continuously trigger this pretty much i think some of them will expire soon and then the, that's going to cost like pretty much all of our influence to get again that's from this our campaign cost has gone up or actually is that uh, these campaigns i don't know is it are either campaigns or um traditions at this point I'm not sure but yeah I think we can jump ahead we've pretty much finished up these guys oh right no this is worth showing up there's 400 pops here 200 of them are unemployed 
but I think that'll be okay. If we go into our unemployed, some of them are on utopian abundance, and that's generating quite a bit of, of research from, from that. So yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world that this planet has 400 pops on it, 200, half of them are unemployed. Um, but yeah, now I feel comfortable jumping ahead. We'll wrap up these wars, take out a couple more nations, and, and see what the galaxy looks like. So, I think this will be the last little segment I record of this empire, because the game has slowed down quite a lot. Um, I feel pretty confident that I could paint the rest of the galaxy the color of my map. You know, this light blue with the, the dark blue outline. Uh, but that's a lot of micro, that's a lot of planets that we have to go land on and tell armies to go take out. The growth alone have 31 planets, so yeah, I don't really I don't really want to have to go through them. This nation with 29, this nation only has 7, but yeah, if I, if I literally converted every last planet on um, this to mine, I'd probably go a little bit crazy. I don't I don't feel like microwing that much. We also have the calculation at the end of the year, which seems to take like two minutes now. Every every time it crosses that threshold to a new year, it has to calculate which pops are being assimilated, and um, I think something about the end game. We are at the point though that we can just kind of like take pops and assimilate them, and it won't completely devastate our economy. We um, we actually have completely filled up on alloys we've stopped selling them to the market so that we can actually spend them on on things like ships or this this um, mega structure here it makes sense to actually complete that it's going to take quite a while to to get that through but it will it'll make our economy a lot better and if we say did want to go to war with this awakened empire and make that war a lot easier a lot be a lot um, easier for me to actually build up my fleets to be capable of taking on more than one of these. I mean, we can we can win a fight one-on-one -on -one against uh, their, their biggest fleet, but not against two of their, their bigger fleets. We have almost 100k of fleet power here, almost 100k of fleet power here. Same with this. If we filled all those up, I think that'd be about 300k. If we add all these other little things that are around, we probably have about 400k. Um, and, and we can get quite a bit more quite a bit faster. We just need to, you know, go to our shipyards and actually tell them to keep making ships. It's just difficult to uh, do that micro. I'm sure I could use Fleet Manager for this to make it a little bit quicker, but I've always distrusted Fleet Manager. I like clicking on the shipyards, telling my ships where to go. Um, it, it usually works out pretty well for me. Right now, the growth does have some pretty sizable fleets, like this, this cluster is pretty scary and actually finding them in like a, a fair war would be pretty scary pretty challenging but they only have a couple friends they had to, well, it's knowing that they have um, federated with this guy so these guys would be able to cause problems in my backline while I'm trying to take out the growth fleets but I feel like my economy would grow stronger with the way I can use jump drives the way they kind of like yeah don't spread out very well unless um, they're gonna like make it easy for you to pick up fleets but yeah all in all I feel like I could conquer this but it's looking like we got a lot of spiritualism in this galaxy that was the goal of this playthrough at least 50% of our pops in our empire and we have 6,000 at least 50% of them believe in spiritualism it says right here 3,827 I don't think I've had that many pops in an empire yet alone in my primary faction so I'm really proud of it. I, I think we did some cool stuff in this this playthrough. And uh, yeah, if you want to see me play more, if you want to see like what this galaxy would look like in an end game state, maybe maybe I will record one more episode. But I'll need some comments below. If I just get like one comment saying, "Hey, you know, it'd be cool if you did this," it's kind of hard to invest all that time and energy into making another episode. But if I get just like two or three, I I could see myself actually wrapping up this game. I had a lot of fun playing around with it and it'd be kind of interesting to like see where the story ends for this um, spiritualist corporation which went on just like a rampage across the galaxy. I mean if you look here it looks like we own pretty much this half of the galaxy. Um, but yeah I don't think there's anything else I wanted to say here. 
If you got any questions for me about what I did, what I liked, make sure you let me know. I'll see you around. Have a good one.